listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again today. Man, you know what time it is. It's that time of season. We had the true honor talking to contestants on NBC, The Voice. We have the one and only Azan. I mean, I know her morning is golden because that's what she did in the blinds, but she also killed it on the last battle round when, you know, she just kept doing her thing. First and foremost, <laughs> I just want to say, how you doing this morning? Oh, I'm feeling so blessed. It's such an honor to be able to to speak with you today. So I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great, man. Man, I mean, we know what happened. John Legend, <laughs> you were on his team, but you were yeah. given a chance to be, you know, stolen from Niall and Reba. You end up choosing Niall. What was going through your thoughts when you found out that Niall wanted you on his team? Oh man, honestly, that was that was a whirlwind of emotions to be honest. Because when when Niall first pressed his button, you know, the crowd was screaming so loud to where I couldn't really even hear Reba <laughs> press her button. So when I turned around and I was so shocked because I was like, okay, cool, I get to stay. But then when I seen Reba, I was like, oh man, because I know I I knew I had to choose one. And that's that's what messed me up because. I knew I've always been a big Nile fan, love Reba. They're all so amazing, all legends. But I know like, you know, I kind of was pulled a little bit more toward Nile just because of, you know, he was on a singing competition show with his group. You know, he has a little more experience in that. Um, and just his music genre, his vibes is more kind of a little more me, but it was really tough because I also felt bad because she turned for me during my blinds and, I was just like, oh my God. So that was like the main things I was going through my head is I was like, I don't want her to, nobody to be upset <laughs> at me, but it was all a blessing. So I was so grateful to be able to still stay. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a competition and you're still in this, you're still in the game. What's some of the things that you learned from John Legend that you now will continue to use, even though you're with Team Nile? Oh, yeah. Like, I, John Legend is absolutely, oh, my gosh. Like, he's so amazing and he's so chill. He's so genuine. And one of the main things that I feel like he has pressed into us is just singing with so much emotion. And um, I've always been emotionally tied, like, to lyrics. And I'm a big lyricist. But, you know, on a big stage like that, sometimes it can be so nerve-wracking. You just want to be perfect. But he has helped, you know, find a way to kind of reel it back in and, you know, figure out our why. And, you know, the song that and how we're trying to touch people with the song that we're singing and what we're representing. So I would definitely plan on using that, you know, to continue the competition with, you know, so. We're talking to our guest, Azan. She is on The Voice, NBC's The Voice and she's on Team Nile. I mean, when you look at the fact that you're on, I'll say it again, you're on the biggest stage right now on TV. <laughs> How does it feel to be able to not just showcase your talent in front of the whole, you know, nation, but at the same time mm -hmm. going viral around the whole world? Everyone's watching. Uh, man, honestly, man, it's, it's really a blessing. It's mind blowing. It's all kind of emotions tied in one, um, really, because this is truly a dream come true. You know, seeing my family right there on the side with me, you know, seeing me, you know, chase my dreams and living in my dreams and, you know, knowing where I come from and how hard I've worked and how many years I put into this. It was just sitting there. I, honestly, man, I probably could have just cried because, of like, I couldn't believe I was here. It was one of those moments where I can't, I cannot believe. I'm literally even watching myself. Sometimes I'm looking at the TV like, wow, like that's really me. Like it, it's kind of odd, but it's like, cause I know I did it, but it's like, my mind is so blown to like, wow, like this, this is really me. And and it, it has shaped me not only as an artist, but as a human being, um, it's, it's helped me to really trust in myself for like once in my life. You know, it's helped me with my confidence. You know, it's helped me kind of, figure out what type of real artist I wanted to be in and, and find my crowd of people. And, you know, I just want to continue to show love and light. And that's all I've ever wanted to represent um, with my music and just who I am is positivity. 
Um, and I feel like we need that in, in this world, um, in the world nowadays. So it was just an honor to finally have a chance. <laughs> so it's great. And it's obvious that Niall did not want you to leave this competition yet. So in preparation for the next time you're on that stage, what is your focus when you're working with your coach and preparing for those amazing moments? Uh, good question. Honestly, I want to just push myself to see like just all like I all I could do, all I could be vocally. Like I want to be able to showcase a different side of myself uh, vocally. I, I, you know, I've done a lot of you know, high kind of level songs, but it would be nice if there's a song or two, I can kind of slow it down and show people, you know, I love ballads. I love, you know, slow songs too. I, you know, I love the lovey dovey songs. So I just want to be able to just showcase my whole range and just show people really who I am and just continue to gain my people and find my group of my fans, you know, my people that are like me. You talked earlier about chasing your dream. I mean, how does it, feel that you're not dreaming no more like you're literally on the biggest stage uh honestly I don't I still don't think I wrap my (laughs) mind around it like it was it was wild because my my mom and we talk about this all the time but um when we had to do photo shoots and things you know my mom thank god she was there to be able to witness witness it all and one of the things that she still talks about to this day is she says you know my favorite part about all that was and I'll say what and she was like the fact that you look at yourself and you're in awe of yourself for the first time like you're finally seeing what other people are seeing like I just kept saying like wow like that's me like that's me and my mom just was so emotional because she she knows you know like how like I remember growing up watching American Idol and just you know being in my room and learning Beyonce's choreography to her performances and just picturing myself on the stage. And I just kept praying. Like, I just, just need one chance, like one chance for people to see me. And like, I just want to shine this light on the world and to have that opportunity is like, it's just, my brain is like trying to figure it out because, you know, it's still going and still happening. Uh, thank God. So I'm just I'm just taking it in. I'm trying to live in the present and just continue to be grateful along the way. You now have a platform where you can inspire people. I mean, you're not a stranger to music, dance and all that outside of the competition. You have a history of that yourself. If you could say one thing to anybody out there who wants their opportunity, you're living in the moment now in your dream, mm-hmm. doing it right now, currently. What would you say encouraging others out there to do the same, to keep pursuing their own dream? I would say, and this may even sound a little cliche, but I would I would honestly say just never give up on yourself. Um, and I really mean that wholeheartedly um, because I, I feel like this is, like I am an example, like I for myself even, like this is an example of what happens no matter what age you are, no matter what you went through, no matter what's going on family wise, person, it doesn't matter. Like if you don't give up on yourself and trust in God and trust in whatever's meant to happen right now is meant to happen at this present time, everything's working out. And I, I just want to encourage people that everything's working out for your good and just to continue to believe in yourself and never give up, no matter how long it takes, never give up on yourself. NBC The Voice talking to contestant Azan. She's on Team Nile. You do not want to miss it. It's going to get hot. It's going to get crazy. It is game time. I want to say thanks again for your time, Azan. Thank you so much. We represent Texas. Let's go.